Hello everybody! So in the previous tutorial I showed you how to set up your Ledger Nano S and also how to use the Ledger Live wallet on your PC. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can send and receive different cryptocurrencies using the Ledger Nano S and your Ledger Live wallet. So let's get started. So if you want to receive Ethereum for example what you need to do is click on so make sure that your account is selected so click on Ethereum then you can click on receive. So again, make sure that your ledger device is connected. If for some reason you haven't been doing anything and it's dormant, you might have to re-enter your pin. So I'm just going to do that for my case. I'm going to navigate to Ethereum and then make sure that the two buttons at the top are pressed simultaneously. So at the same time, there you go. And now I'm going to click on continue it says here, Ethereum receive address will be displayed on your device. Carefully verify that it matches the address on your computer. So let's click on verify. So this is the address. You want to copy it. So click on copy. Now what I need to do is go to, say, an exchange where I have Ethereum. So I'm going to go to Coinbase Pro. This is one of many exchanges where you can buy Ethereum from. I'm going to click on withdraw, select currency, so Ethereum, okay, and I'm going to paste that address here, okay, so the address that we've copied from here, so I've pasted that in here, and then in this part where it says amount, I'm just going to add one Ethereum, which is worth 156 pounds at the moment, and then I'm going to withdraw that Ethereum. So you click on it. So again, I need to confirm that with my two-step verification code. And this is something I do recommend that you have, a two-step verification code, which just makes everything a lot more secure. You can easily set that up when you have a Coinbase account. And here we can X out. And our Ethereum should show within the next couple of minutes to an hour so um, you can log out of your Ledger Nano Live. All right so it's been about five minutes and as you can see one Ethereum has been added to my account and if I check my portfolio it again shows that I have $194.66 and um, obviously that's from the Ethereum that has been added. So this is how you can send and receive cryptocurrencies. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple cryptocurrencies onto your Ledger Nano S, even though it says that the storage space is full. So this is a common problem that people experience, and I will show you how to get around that. All right. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.